DAs are officially parting ways with Oakland, and another Bay Area criminal case is the center of a new documentary. I'm Diana San Juan. Let's get you synced in. Well, you guys, it's official. The A's are leaving Oakland at the end of the 2024 season and will play in Sacramento until their Vegas ballpark is ready. The team made the announcement on Thursday after it was unable to reach a deal with the Coliseum about a lease extension. You see, the city wanted $97 million and the A's offered $17 million. Oakland Mayor Shang Tao says the city made their final offer on Tuesday of $60 million. But now the A's will play three seasons at Sutter Health Park, home of the AAA Sacramento River Cats, starting in 2025, with an option for a fourth season as the ballpark in Las Vegas is set to open in 2028. A's owner John Fisher spoke at Sutter Health Park on Thursday. Let's listen. I just want to say we're, we're excited to be here for the next three years, playing in this uh, beautiful ballpark. And we're looking forward to this being our home uh, until we move on to, uh, to our stadium in Las Vegas in 2028. In a statement, Mayor Tao said the city offered the A's a fair deal and she wishes the team the best. She added that the city will now focus on a new development at the Coliseum. And another Bay Area criminal case is going to be highlighted in a new documentary. The family of Alexis Gabe, who was murdered in January of 2022 by her ex-boyfriend, is hoping this brings justice for her. Marshall Curtis Jones was shot and killed by officers in Washington State in June 2022 while they were trying to arrest him for the Oakley woman's murder. But Alexis's family believes his mother was involved and they hope this documentary will push for her arrest. We want people to see what we saw. If the network um, decide to reveal everything that was in in those videos, the ring footage, they're gonna they're gonna know that someone was involved, that someone was helping him. Just a month prior to Jones's death, police briefly took his mother into custody and interviewed her, but found that there wasn't enough evidence to charge her with aiding and abetting. The documentary is set to air later this month on the Investigation Discovery Channel. Using dogs to detect COVID sounds a little odd, but it's Alameda Health System's new plan to keep COVID under control. Officials say they're using dogs to sniff out the virus in people and therefore prevent the spread of COVID among high-risk populations like nursing homes. Now, they're not just depending on the dog. The pups sniff it out, and if they get a positive response, they then go ahead and do an actual antigen test. The dogs have been trained to identify volatile organic compound, which is associated with COVID-19. They're able to do 300 people in 30 minutes, which is a much faster way than doing antigen tests. They work closely with their trainers, and if they identify COVID, they sit down, they do a second step with the trainers to make sure, and then we follow up with the antigen test. They've trained them so well that the dogs have an accuracy detection rate of about 94%. That's pretty impressive. All right, you guys, before I let you go, we got to talk about the Giants home opener on Friday against the Padres. A special Giants pregame live covering the opening ceremony begins at noon on NBC Sports Bay Area and will be streaming on the NBC Sports app. So make sure you guys check it out. All right, you guys, I'll see you later.